What's up, y'all? This is creator from Reshoot Films, where I teach about cinematography, Unreal Engine, and also do product reviews to help support both of those topics. So if you're into that, subscribe. Now, today, I'm going to show you how to replace something. If you're doing a scene, a commercial, a movie, and you got the mic there, you might not notice. Some of you might, but if you don't notice, this is going to help you out. All right? So I'm going to have you replace. See this right here? Let me just get right to it. I'm working on this movie here. This is my movie that I shot, directed, and wrote called uh, Broken City. I'm working on it. And, and we have this shot here. Depends. All right, so you have this mic here in the scene, obviously. Depends. All right, we don't need to hear too much of the audio. So I want to really uh, get rid of that. So what you want to do now, what you really want to do, well, this is a static shot, which helps it. If it's not a static shot, then you have to 3D track it and do all of that good stuff. But static shots are the easiest for this stuff. All right. Now it's a static shot, as you see right here. Let me just put a, we're only going to do that part of it. All right. So it's a static shot. And so usually what you want to do, if you know you're going to have to replace the microphone, you're going to you're going to get a clean plate without that microphone there. So I would take that microphone out there and let a few seconds roll. So then I have a clean plate, but we don't have that. Right. So we have to create one. So just go somewhere and in DaVinci Resolve, I got it set up to take a screenshot. And so I hit S on mine. That's what I set it up to. And I'm gonna export this this shot here, okay? And then I'm gonna bring that into Photoshop. All right, here we go. So we're in Photoshop. So all you wanna do again, we wanna create a clean plate. So, you know, generative fill helps out a lot. So we're gonna go grab this. We're gonna just, just grab all of this. And hit generative fill, generate. They really do help a lot doing this because before back in the days, you used to have to slowly do it. Look at that, flawless. I mean, you can't even, hit. man, that's crazy. So we're gonna go to file, save a copy, JPEG. Or oh, whatever. I'm so messy with naming. And then do it at the highest, which is 12. Then we're going to bring that into Dimitri Resolve. All right. And then we're going to bring that in to the on top of your clip. Okay. So we're going to bring that on top of the clip. Remember, this is the bottom clip. And we're going to bring that clean play we shot, we did in Photoshop, right on top of it. And you're going to. You know, have it be right where it has to be, okay? Then you wanna click on this and hit it, go into your color. And then right here, you wanna right click and right here say add alpha output. Click on that and connect this to this, just like that. Then you come down here to your windows and you can grab any one of these, but I'm gonna grab this one here. And then you just kind of, you know where it sort of is, so you just kind of make it cut out, make, you know, create a few points. All right, you see they came back to life already. Look at that. So you just kind of want to make sure, you know, you're hiding it, that's all. And everything's blending in. So only right here, so I don't even need all of this, but whatever. And if you was moving around, you know, you would have to mask it. You know, you'd have to track the masking, you know, if you was moving around, but we're not moving around. So it's pretty stable right where it's at. So there you go. And then when you come over here, it's no longer there. You know, and that's also how you get, you know, good audio sometimes. You got to put it in the scene. You got to erase it later, but you got to think about it. 
I'm gonna have to race this later. So give yourself the best, you know, put it in the best place where it's gonna help you out. All right. Um, if you did need to maneuver it around because the the boom pole is moving, what we will go to is you stay right here and then over here you see you see this right here the keys, you key frame to put that, and this is the first corrector. All right. You want to bring it to the beginning of that, whatever that is. All right. And then bring this down and you can hit the key for all of them. All right. And then let's say this is the, the microphone moves forward. So you will do the key there. You have a key. And as soon as you well put it there, as soon as you move it a little bit, it's going to create these keys. All right. And then let's say the microphone moved over here. So I would have to cover that up like this, you know, just cover it up. Boom. And so then it created another key here, as you see. So it will just go in between them. You see how it just, you know, and it can go harsh or it can go smooth. All depends how you do it. Then let's say it needs to go right back up because we got to cover that. And you just move it around and it'll maneuver as you need to do it. And that's it you see come right back boy so you know it that's that's it's real easy it's real good to know because sometimes these are things that you have to do you got to follow the key sometimes following it so that it just warps with it and gets out the way but that's the basic concept nothing too crazy nothing too hard um that's about it so i'm over here doing this let me shoot, let me do another one let me shoot another one let me see here you see it right there it's right on the top there and then i think it, it comes down over here see right here now this is one whole scene and again it's locked off but let me see here yeah i'm gonna just bring this back down that's really what you see right here you see it you see it all but what i try to cheat a little bit so i don't have to do it all i'll cut his head off there for a little bit that's cool and then what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and copy this. All right. So control copy. And then this I'm a alt V in, in order to copy the same dimensions that this one has. All right. So they're exactly the same. All right. And actually this one, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to leave them all the same. Okay. So again, grab it. Create a screenshot. There it goes. Open with Adobe Photoshop. There we go. I'm telling you now, it's like nothing because we got that great, amazing generative fill. All right, so you see it's a clean plate. Then we go ahead, save a copy. We're going to save as a JPEG, save. We want the milk quality to be 12. That's the best you're going to get out of that. And then we're going to go and bring it into DaVinci Resolve. Then we're going to bring it on top again. See, trim it to where you need it. Pick it. What we're doing, right click, add alpha output, connect the blues. Go to your masking here, hit this bad boy, and we know it's around here. So let's just create a few of them so that we have, you know, no stuff to play with. And where is it at? Right there. So we just want to cover that. All right. And that should be fine. She doesn't overlap it, nothing like that. And then the other scenes are the same one. So you just take that one, copy and paste it, duplicate it, trim it to where it needs to be. Again, it's all good. Then we got one more here. Trim it. Again. Oh, wait a minute. You see that? If you're not careful. Boom. See how, see how we, we got to trim it good because it was leaking over there. So, yep, that's it. So that's it. Just wanted to share a little bit of something with y'all. You know how to hide the microphone if for some reason you haven't done that yet. 
Uh, hopefully it brought you some value. Leave me some comments on how you might hide microphones or if this helped you or not. I don't know. I appreciate your support. Be blessed. And make sure to subscribe. Hit that bell on the side so you get notified on time. And like I always say, it is what it is. I'm out, y'all.